Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your PS5 DualSense Edge controller to your PC. Um, I made a video about this a couple months ago, and today I'm gonna show you a different method that's free. So, if you watched the last video, you had to pay five or six dollars for the app. You don't have to do that anymore. So, if you want to save some money, watch this video. But I would say that the other app is a lot user friendly. If you guys don't know, um, you could go on Steam, download this app called DualSense uh, X or DSX on steam guys and you could just customize mess around with this like there's a lot of things you can mess around with um adaptive triggers you could turn it off turn on the vibrations it's you could change the color of the led it's honestly it's very user friendly but a lot of you people were having issues that your controller wasn't properly connecting uh to your pc and you weren't able to play your game so i'm gonna show you guys a way that will absolutely it's an app and it's free that'll help you download not download but connect your um your uh your controller to your pc so first things first you want to open up a google tab you're going to want to type in ds4 windows and don't go to the first one you're going to want to download the second one down here once you download that you're going to want to download uh the newest version right here so once you download this version you're gonna your app's gonna look something like this let's see if we can get it open right now let's see ds uh, windows Oh wait, why is it not showing up? Oh, I have it right here. Uh, I'm tripping. Um, okay, so it's gonna look very simple, but from what I heard, the new version you could actually customize. Do the same thing you can do on this app now. So you could customize the adapter triggers and all that stuff. So I have the older version because I don't know. The older version just connects. I don't know. I like the way it connects. It connects on the spot right when I turn on my PC. It's like you know the newest and greatest but a lot of you people obviously want to use a function the new function of your controller so download the latest version it's gonna look something like this and it's very simple you come here customize the led color i'll tell you your battery life the controller that you're using um it's very simple and you can also set up profiles um and you can mess around with the settings and i think there should be another tab if you download the new version where you can actually mess with the left trigger, the right trigger, the adaptive triggers, so on and so forth with the paddles in the back, all that stuff. Um, but all right guys, so I just went ahead and I just updated the app. Um, I just wanna show you where you go to actually, you know, mess around with your DualSense Edge controller features and mess around with the dead zone and stuff. So you just go to profiles, go to new. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna get this little window that pops up. It's gonna say, do you wanna use a preset option? You're gonna hit yes. Gamepad, leave it at gamepad, do not change that. But you do want to change the DualShock 4 down here. Once you do that, the reason we're doing this is because you want your game to pick up your controller as a PlayStation controller. Meaning, in-game, when it says, hey, pick up this item, it's going to show square and triangle as opposed to A, B, or whatever X on an Xbox controller. So this is very important. Hit apply. And after that, you know, you got all this function. You can mess around with the dead zones on your analog sticks, anything. Uh, it's really up to you. You could turn off the adaptive triggers, change the light bar color. It's really up to you, man. It's so much customization, gyro, you know, you got all that stuff. And for the paddles, I know you guys are going to have questions on the paddles. All you do is come down here and you, you can just double click and just change your function. Very easy. It's not that hard to use. Um, um, if you do want to get into the nitty gritty of this, there is a video online. Just type in how to use DS4 Windows on uh, with playstation 5 and they'll get into it and i'll show you how to do this but this is just a quick video on uh there's a better version you know i mean it's not as pretty as this but and as user friendly but it, it's free and honestly it connects immediately and it's way better and this is why i use this instead of the app okay so um yeah yeah guys download this app ds4 windows it's free uh, very simple to install once you plug it in it works automatically and if it doesn't work it's probably because you don't have this installed uh let's find that real quick you're gonna want to go to where is it bro uh driver's controller driver setup right here and you're gonna want to install the first one um and then restart your computer and then plug in your controller and it should connect right away and if it, that doesn't work, you're going to want to install the hit high driver and then it should work after that. There should be no issues whatsoever. So um, once you do that, it should be good. Uh, but you don't have to install this. First, try this out. First, install this. Plug it. See if it works. If it doesn't, you probably need to install this driver right here. And if that doesn't work, install this one down here. Very simple, man. Easy setup. And that's it. Plug and play. Also, I think it's very important for me to mention real quick that 
um, you're gonna want to make sure it's uh, run at startup is ticked. Um, the reason why is because if you have your controller plugged in, it'll just pick it up immediately. Bluetooth, whatever it is, it'll pick it up fast. And this app just runs in the background. So this is very important to have on. Um, I have this on. If not, you're gonna have to open the app and then connect your controller. So just keep it ticked. It just makes your life easier. Just wanted to mention that real quick. Literally plug and play, man. <laughs> you connect your controller, hop on a game. Your game picks it up as an Xbox controller and you're good to go. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And so if this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, comment down below if you have any issues. I will try to get to you guys' messages as fast as that I can. And see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.